you know, sort of the evidence that you see some sort of liquid flowing on Mars. Frank wants to know, what makes you think it was water? <laughs> We've landed on Mars. The samples have been transferred into the, the Mars Ascent system. In a stunning twist that reads like a thriller from another world, NASA's Mars rover has made a discovery that sends chills down the spine of the scientific community. Sulfur crystals on Mars. Yeah, you know, um, it's the first time that any mission on the surface of Mars has found uh, pure elemental sulfur lying around. This isn't just another space rock. This finding could unravel secrets about water and life itself on the red planet. What other startling revelations could be hidden in the Martian soil? Stay with us as we delve deeper into these mysteries that could terrify and fascinate you for a lifetime. Exposing Sulfur Secrets. Only a short while ago, after trekking the Martian landscapes for over a decade, our diligent rover stumbled upon an unprecedented find, sulfur crystals. And so for the last three billion years of Mars history, really little has been going on in Gale. So that's the, that's the time period we think all this would have happened. These aren't ordinary minerals. They might be indicators of hidden water reservoirs on Mars, sparking a wave of excitement and fear. Why is this significant? If water exists, it could imply more than just survival. Scientists have discovered water on Mars. It is an underground reservoir, enough to fill an ocean that covers the entire planet. That is a lot of water, and this is good news. It could mean Mars holds darker, deeper secrets than we ever imagined. For more than 60 years, Mars has captured our imagination, glowing in the night sky as a bright red dot that makes us curious about what lies beyond Earth. Known as the Red Planet because of its color, Mars has been a source of fascination for both scientists and dreamers for a long time. It's the fourth planet from the sun and shares a few things in common with Earth, like polar ice caps and days that are just a little over 24 hours long. You may not see much cold weather here, but on planet Mars, it's a winter wonderland. Check it out, the European Space Agency. But don't be fooled. Mars is very different from Earth. It's mostly a dry, dusty desert where temperatures can drop to minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Its atmosphere is so thin and made up mostly of carbon dioxide that no known life forms could survive there. So why do we keep exploring this harsh planet? The main reason is the hope of finding signs of past life and understanding the planet's history. Some scientists think Mars might have been warmer and wetter billions of years ago, and maybe even home to some form of life. This possibility drives our curiosity and keeps us sending missions to Mars. This brings us to today, where those early missions have paved the way for even more advanced rovers like Spirit, Opportunity, and Curiosity. Among them, Curiosity stands out as the most recent and advanced. Part of the Mars Science Laboratory mission, Curiosity was designed to find out if Mars ever had the conditions needed to support life. The idea for Curiosity started in the early 2000s, and by 2004, NASA had given the go-ahead to build it. Built by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Curiosity represents a big step forward in our mission to learn more about Mars. This exploration vehicle is about the size of a small car, standing roughly seven feet tall, nine feet wide, and 10 feet long. It weighs around 2,000 pounds, equipped with various tools, cameras, and a flexible robotic arm this rover can do many tasks, like drilling into rocks or collecting soil samples, much like a Swiss Army knife for space. Building the rover, named Curiosity, was a huge project that involved thousands of engineers and scientists. They worked hard to make sure it could survive the tough conditions on Mars. One of its key features is the multi-mission radioisotope thermoelectric generator, which turns heat from radioactive decay into electricity. This generator allows Curiosity to keep running without needing sunlight or weather conditions, making it perfect for the Martian environment. Curiosity was launched into space on November 26, 2011, from Cape Canaveral, Florida, using an Atlas V rocket. After an eight-month journey through space, it made a nerve-wracking landing on Mars on August 6, 2012. The landing, often called the Seven Minutes of Terror, involved a special sky crane system that carefully lowered Curiosity to the Martian surface. This was the first time such a landing method was used, and it was a big success. Next, we explore the Martian craters with our trusty rovers. The quest inside Gale Crater. Curiosity landed inside Gale Crater, 
a huge basin with a central mountain called Mount Sharp. This location was chosen because its layers of rock could reveal important information about Mars's environmental history. Curiosity's mission is to explore this landscape, study rocks and soil, and search for signs that Mars might have once had conditions suitable for life. Building on Curiosity's success, NASA launched another rover, Perseverance, in 2020 as part of the Mars 2020 mission. Perseverance is similar to Curiosity, but slightly larger and heavier, weighing about 2,260 pounds. Like Curiosity, it is powered by an MMRTG, which lets it operate around the clock. Perseverance comes with advanced tools designed to find traces of ancient life and collect rock and soil samples. Some of its key instruments include Sherlock, which uses a UV laser to identify organic compounds and minerals, and RIMFAX, a ground-penetrating radar that looks below the Martian surface. It also has a system to store samples in metal tubes, which will be retrieved by a future mission to bring them back to Earth. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Perseverance didn't land alone. Nav filter converge. Velocity solution, 3.3 meters per second. Altitude, 7.4 kilometers. It brought along a small helicopter named Ingenuity. Weighing just four pounds, Ingenuity was built to test if powered flight was possible on Mars. It has two rotor blades that spin in opposite directions to help it lift off in Mars's thin atmosphere. Ingenuity's first flight was on April 19, 2019, and it went on to complete 72 flights, gathering valuable data. Although its last flight was in January this year, it marked a huge step forward for Martian exploration. As for curiosity and perseverance, they continue to explore the Martian surface. Right now, they are examining several craters that resemble the first images sent back from Mars with similar rock formations. The discoveries they make in these craters could tell us even more about Mars' past. When Perseverance landed in Jezero Crater, scientists eagerly started studying the rocks there. Their findings, though varied, are helping to build a clearer picture of Mars's geological and possibly biological history. But as exciting as these discoveries are, there's always more to uncover. We wanted to follow the water. We wanted to understand the role of water in shaping the landscape of Mars. The debate continued about what lay at the bottom of the crater. Was it ancient lava or rocks brought in by wind and water? Then the Perseverance rover made an exciting discovery. During its first year, it found different types of igneous rock. These included lava flows and rocks formed from slowly cooling magma. Igneous rocks are key to understanding the history of the place they're found. They have crystals that tell us when and how they were formed. Even more interesting, these rocks showed signs that they had interacted with water, hinting at a time when Mars might have been wet. This is a big deal because it means these rocks could hold clues about conditions that might have supported tiny life forms. If scientists can get these samples back to Earth, they could help answer important questions about Mars' past, its volcanic activity, and the age of the formations within the Jezero Crater. But this wasn't the only interesting discovery. Perseverance also found ancient lake beds at a place called Wildcat Ridge, inside a well-preserved sedimentary deposit. This suggested that the sediments were not only laid down in water, but kept interacting with it long after, possibly supporting ancient microbes. Now let's dive deeper into the Martian rocks and what they tell us. The MOXIE experiment's oxygen breakthrough. The plan now is to bring these samples back to Earth for a closer look. Scientists are eager to search for organic compounds and signs of past life. While all this was happening, the Curiosity rover, exploring Gale Crater, found evidence of ancient water paths like old riverbeds and lake beds, which could have supported life. It also confirmed that Mars had conditions favorable for life for a long time. Curiosity even discovered organic molecules in the Martian soil, which are essential for life. It also noticed periodic increases in methane levels, suggesting some kind of geological or biological activity. But that's not all. While Curiosity was exploring Gale Crater, Perseverance reached a significant milestone by producing oxygen on Mars. The MOXIE experiment successfully turned the Martian atmospheric CO2 into oxygen, a critical step for future human missions to Mars. It worked several times, making enough oxygen to support an astronaut for a few hours. What's even more impressive is that this technology exceeded NASA's expectations, producing up to 12 grams of oxygen per hour. By the time the mission ended in September 2023, 
Moxie had shown that we could create life-supporting oxygen right there on Mars. But there's more. Perseverance has also been recording the sounds of Mars, allowing scientists to hear the Martian atmosphere for the first time. The rover captured various sounds, including noises from its equipment and the Martian wind, giving us a deeper understanding of what Mars is like. This audio recording provided scientists with some valuable insights into Mars. They discovered that sounds travel more slowly on Mars compared to Earth because the atmosphere on Mars is thinner and mostly made of carbon dioxide. The Martian atmosphere also affects how loud sounds are, and this can change with the seasons. When the pressure is low, the microphone mostly picks up silence. Sounds that are common on Earth, like voices or music, would be much quieter and muffled on Mars. High-pitched sounds such as whistling or birds chirping would be especially hard to hear there. Studying Mars's atmosphere in this way helps scientists understand it better. It's not just the sounds themselves that are interesting, but also what these sounds tell us about the environment. One really fascinating thing about the Perseverance rover is its ability to take 360-degree photos. These photos let scientists view the Martian landscape as if they were there, providing amazing panoramic views. These detailed photos allow scientists to examine the terrain closely, which helps them identify important geological features and decide where the rover should go next. To explore Mars further, Perseverance uses a tool called SuperCam, which is very important for studying planets. SuperCam includes a camera, a laser, and spectrometers on the rover's mast, all working together to study Martian rocks and soil from a distance. SuperCam's laser can zap rocks, vaporizing a tiny bit of their surface. This creates a bright plasma that the spectrometers analyze to determine the rock's chemical elements. This allows scientists to study Martian materials without having to physically touch them. Volcanic rocks on Mars offer clues about the planet's volcanic past and what might still be happening inside it. These rocks suggest that there were volcanic activities long ago, which could have made Mars more habitable by releasing heat and gases. Let's look closer at what Mars rocks and minerals reveal about its past. Exposing Mars Sedimentary Secrets Sedimentary rocks, which are formed from layers of sediment often moved by water or wind, tell us about what Mars was like in the past. But this isn't the only interesting thing. Perseverance also found silica and phosphates in the Martian soil. Silica, especially when it forms in water, hints that there might have been watery places on Mars that could have supported life similar to hot springs on Earth. Phosphates are especially exciting because phosphorus is essential for life, playing a key role in DNA, RNA, and cellular energy. Finding phosphates suggests that Mars might have had the basic ingredients needed for life. The combination of volcanic and sedimentary rocks, along with the presence of silica and phosphates, shows that Mars was once very different from the dry, cold planet we see today. These findings suggest that there was water in Jezero Crater, possibly making the environment suitable for life. Water is essential for life, and the evidence of past water on Mars raises exciting possibilities about ancient Martian life. Perseverance has been following ancient water paths, uncovering fascinating clues about the planet's history and its potential for supporting life. Is there water on Mars? The answer is a definite yes. As we gather more information from satellites, rovers, and landers, the evidence keeps building up. Satellites orbiting Mars give us a bird's eye view, showing dried up riverbeds, ancient lakes, and networks of valleys. These clues suggest that in the past, water might have covered the surface of Mars, but the real insights come from the rovers and landers on the ground. Take Jezero Crater, for example. Scientists have long suspected it was once a lake, but recent images from the Perseverance rover show that the history of water in this crater is more complex than they first thought. The rover found sediments that settled into a delta, suggesting the water stayed around for a long time, not just briefly. But that's not the most surprising part. The rover also found evidence of massive floods that later carried huge boulders into the crater. What caused these floods is still a mystery, but each new discovery helps scientists piece together Mars' watery past. Finding minerals and rocks that point to the presence of water is also key. Recently, NASA made a breakthrough that provided even more solid evidence of water on Mars. On May 30th, the Curiosity rover made an unexpected discovery. Bright yellow sulfur crystals inside a rocket accidentally broke open. Since October 2023, 
Curiosity has been exploring an area rich in sulfates, salts that form when water evaporates, leaving sulfur-rich minerals behind. This discovery was both surprising and exciting. The rock contained pure sulfur, which usually forms under specific conditions not previously associated with this part of Mars. This find is like stumbling upon a treasure in an unexpected place. But this wasn't the only surprise. Curiosity has been traveling through the Geddes Vallis Channel, a path down the side of Mount Sharp. The rover's mission is to explore the surface layers to find out when and where Mars might have had conditions suitable for life. Scientists had seen the Geddes Vallis Channel from orbit long before Curiosity landed. They believed it was shaped by flowing water and debris, leaving a trail of boulders and sediments. The goal is to understand how this landscape changed over billions of years. Moving on, the Martian landscape shows more signs of its watery history, decoding Mars' geological mysteries. Since arriving, Curiosity has been studying whether ancient floods or landslides formed the large debris mounds in the channel. The recent findings suggest that some mounds came from powerful water flows, while dry landslides might have caused others. The rocks in these mounds tell a story. Water-smooth stones look rounded, like river rocks, while angular stones hint at landslides. But the most intriguing discovery is the white halo patterns in some rocks, which show signs of water-related chemical reactions. This adds even more proof of water activities on Mars. As scientists continue to uncover more about Mars, some UFO enthusiasts have made bold claims about the planet, adding even more excitement and speculation about what might still be found. When scientists spotted a circle of stones on Mars, they quickly named it Mars Henge, inspired by Earth's famous Stonehenge. This discovery sparked a lot of excitement and many theories among space enthusiasts. Some even believe these stones could be the remains of a long-lost Martian civilization, possibly connected to ancient cultures on Earth, or maybe even built by visitors from our planet in the distant past. This idea has fueled imaginations, leading people to wonder about the kinds of beings that might have once lived on Mars. Could they have had contact with ancient Earth? Some dream of vibrant Martian societies with their own monuments, much like those on our planet. However, many scientists are skeptical. Experts in planetary science find the discovery interesting, but don't see it as evidence of a past Martian civilization. They caution against letting our imaginations run wild with these findings. But this isn't the most surprising part. Some enthusiasts also point to other images from Mars, captured by NASA, that show formations resembling pyramids and human-like statues. These have led to even more speculative stories about Mars history. A group of space fans firmly believes that the symmetrical shapes seen in these photos indicate they were made by intelligent beings, remnants of structures and sculptures from a time when an advanced society might have thrived on Mars. They imagine a Mars that was once full of life, with bustling cities and intricate artworks similar to ancient civilizations on Earth. But many scientists have a different explanation. They suggest that these shapes are the result of natural processes, like wind and erosion, that have shaped the planet over millions of years. These processes can create formations that look intentional to those eager to find evidence of life. However, this isn't the only surprising element. Experts often talk about pareidolia, a psychological phenomenon where our brains find familiar patterns in random things. It's like seeing shapes in clouds. A face or a building might appear from simple rock formations and shadows thanks to this mental trick. While the idea of Mars Henge and other supposed Martian relics is exciting and makes for fun conversation, most scientists agree that these formations are likely the natural result of Mars's harsh environment. The hope that Mars might have once hosted life reflects a deeper concern. Here on Earth, we're dealing with big environmental challenges. Climate change, pollution, and the depletion of resources are pushing our planet to its limits. If a catastrophe like an asteroid impact or global conflict were to occur, human life could be in serious danger. So the idea of establishing a Plan B on Mars becomes more important. This is the driving force behind efforts like Elon Musk's and NASA's, which aim to make Mars a viable place for humans to live if Earth becomes uninhabitable. Could humanity truly thrive on Mars, or are we destined to face our challenges on Earth? Like, comment, and subscribe for more.